Okay, here we go on numbers 31 through 37. Let's get a little focus in. Okay, now 2x plus 3y equals 6, and then y equals negative 2. Well, I'm going to go ahead and graph y equals negative 2 first because if you'll remember, that's a solid horizontal line going across like that. Now, 2x plus 3y equals 6 is easiest for me to graph using intercepts. So if x is 0, y is 2. And if y is 0, x is 3. So 0, 2. 3, 0. And go for the graph. Easy. Oh! All right. Where did we land? Okay. Now I know it's on this line. So my y is going to be negative 2. But maybe this one? Let's try that. One, two, three, four, five. Is five negative two going to work? Let's try it. Two times five is ten. Ten plus negative six is not six. All right, let's scooch it over then. So five negative two doesn't work. What about six negative two? I know the negative two part works. Two times six is twelve. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. 12 plus negative 6 is 6. That's the answer. Check. All right, 33. Same situation. We're going to go ahead and graph this y equals 2. It's a horizontal line right at 2. Then I'm going to graph x minus 3y equals negative 3. Okay, well, to do that... Let's do the uh, slope intercept this time. So, x minus 3y equals negative 3. I'm going to add 3y to both sides. And then add 3 to both sides. So now I've got x plus 3 equals 3y. Divide by 3. <coughs> Excuse me. y equals 1 third x plus 1. Okay. So there's the 1. Then I'm going to go up 1, 1, 2, 3. Okay, it's a gimme. It's a gimme. So the point of intersection is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2. I'm still going to plug it in. You know I'm going to. 3 minus 6 is negative 3. And of course, y equals 2. Check. 33 works. I right, let's jump to 35. 35. Okay, this time we're given a vertical line. X equals 1. Ooh, I made that way too close. That's okay. All right, we graphed X equals 1. Now i got to graph 2X minus Y equals negative 1. I think I might try some intercepts on that. Okay, so i got 0 for X, making Y 1. And then I've got, oh, got me a fraction, so negative 1 half. That's okay. So 0, 1. And then negative 1 half, 0. And graphed, it's looking to be like 1, 2 maybe. Could it be 1, 2? Let's plug it in and see. Now obviously, x equals 1 works. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. That doesn't work. So let's try, maybe it was the 3. Since my graph was so imperfect, sometimes you'll have to say, oh, it must have been more like this. Like my dots were just that off that my picture's off. Let's try 1, 3. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. That's it. That's why we check it, and that's why it helps to use a ruler. Okay, x equals negative 3. 1, 2, 3 over. Vertical line. Oh, yeah. It's looking good. Okay. And then I'm going to do x minus 3y equals negative 6. And let's do intercepts. Okay, if x is 0, then y is 2. And if y is 0, then x is negative 6. 6. Then we're going to connect those dots. Whoa, see that curve? That's not what you want. 
Okay, so there's the point of intersection. Now I know it's at negative three, one, two, three, and it's either one or two or goodness, it could even be three. So let's just pick uh, one and try that. Now we know the negative three part works for this one. So negative three minus three is negative six. It worked. Got him. Okay.